Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make your own milky spore. Come join me in the chaos. All right, so if you have problems with uh, Japanese beetles, you might've purchased milky spore. And if you're like me, you probably don't wanna purchase more than one bag. So the question is, is how do I make more milky spore? And if you think about how all this stuff works, you apply it to the soil, the grubs eat it, and then the grubs decompose, releasing more milky spore into your soil. So being the type of person I am, I'm like, hmm, what can I do to make as much milky spore as I could ever want? And so earlier I was out digging my wood chip pile and I noticed there's tons of grubs by the wood chips because they're attracted to them. So I basically have a cup of wood chip or a cup of grubs here. You can probably guess where I'm going with this. I know where all these grubs are. I could probably dig in my wood chip pile for 10 minutes and probably collect a hundred of these. So there's a couple of things I can do. I can just throw a milky spore over by my wood chip pile and then make it so from thenceforth, when I go and take wood chips from my wood chip pile, I'm just inoculating my yard with milky spore because there's probably decomposed um, grubs that have been exposed and essentially infected by milky spore that have now inoculated my wood chips with this amazing bacteria that likes to kill grubs. Or I can just fill this cup with soil, sprinkle some milky spore in the soil, and then, you know, put some um, wood chips or whatever near the top to keep the soil from drying out. Because obviously you don't want to put too much water in here, they'll drown. And I don't want them to drown necessarily, especially right away. I want them to continue being grubs and, and munching on wood chips and decomposing material like they're doing. But I also kind of want them to get exposed to milky spore so that their entire body gets, you know, infected with milky spore. And then I can use this cup full of soil and decomposed <clears throat> grubs that have, you know, been infected by milky spore. I feel like I'm saying milky spore a lot. <laughs> to make more milky spore. So they top off the cup of dirt. Grab some milky spore. It's probably more than enough. Sprinkle a little on there. Some wood chips to give them something to eat. And maybe let them do their thing for a month or two. Probably just leave them in there for a couple weeks and then just let them go. Scatter themselves around the yard and just introduce milky spore everywhere. Pretty simple process. So, pretty easy process. If you know where grubs are, use that soil that's been um, where you've used milky spore to spread more around your yard. It's a very simple process. Instead of buying, I mean, for an acre, I'm not going to go and buy 10 bags of this stuff. That's silly when I can just sprinkle, you know, a quarter of a bag around my wood chip pile and inoculate probably 10,000 grubs with milky spore and then mix them in with my wood chips until I have tons and tons of milky spore bacteria. So pretty simple process. I know you can do it. Hope this helps you save a bunch of money. Thanks for watching.